hi guys welcome back to my channel i am going to do a foundation routine and if you would like to see how i do a full in-depth foundation routine then just stay tuned so the first thing that I normally do when I do my foundation is moisturize and prep my skin. So I start off with my moisturizer. Right there, I was using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. That is my favorite moisturizer. Um, I'm just moisturizing my lips as well. Um, for this primer, I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. It is the like the poreless one and it's just filling in my pores and i love this it's a very good drugstore primer like hands down bomb and uh, yeah so i just fill it in where i have the larger pores which is like in my nose area on my forehead and then around my um smile lines but then with whatever is left over i do just rub it in all over the skin just so that everything is smooth and ready for a good foundation base for foundation i go in with two foundations so yeah i am a little bit extra but whatever so i go in with my morphe foundation and then i also do huda beauty so for the huda beauty foundation i apply that on the inner portion of my face so kind of like where i normally would apply concealer and then for the Morphe foundation, I will apply that on the outer edge of my face. So where I would apply like bronzer or like any other foundation. Um, but the reason I do this is because Huda has is like a little bit lighter, but it is much fuller coverage. Like it's very full coverage. And for me, I love full coverage. Like my foundations have to be full coverage or nothing at all, basically. So... Right there, I'm just applying the Huda Beauty with a, a concealer brush, and I'm just placing that in the same areas that I normally would apply my concealer, um, just to highlight. And then right there, you'll see me go on my foundation brush, and I'm applying the Morphe foundation on the outer edge of my face, and I'm just going to blend the two together. Um, and then also, with that foundation brush, I am not like swiping or anything i am tapping so it looks like i'm swiping but i'm not i am just like pouncing the brush back and forth um kind of like what i would do with a beauty blender but just with a brush and i find that that technique does give me fuller coverage um with a beauty i do use a beauty blender but with a beauty blender like i just feel like sometimes it does take away some of the product and i want every single product that i use to remain on my face you know what i mean so yeah so that's what i'm doing here so here i am just using my beauty blender and i am just pouncing the damp beauty blender um into my skin the only reason why i'm using a beauty blender right here is because i realized that i put too much foundation and i wasn't trying to look like too cakey so a good tip is that if you feel like you put a lot of foundation like i said beauty blenders um, a damp beauty blender will like suck up some of the excess foundation or any excess product so you can go ahead and use the beauty blender to take away any extra product that you may have placed on your skin um, so that's what you'll see me doing here. Um, and plus, I really wasn't going anywhere. So I didn't want to be looking all extra cakey for nothing, you know, like I was going to just wipe this off. Anyways, right here, I am just going in with my setting powder and setting my foundation. Normally, I will go in with a concealer when I don't use my Huda Beauty. Um, but because Huda Beauty is light and it gives me the coverage that I'm looking for underneath my eye, I didn't use concealer. So here again i'm setting my powder i'm sorry i'm setting my foundation with the rcma translucent powder i'll just place some in the kylie jenner container because i finished that but <laughs> um yeah so i'm using the rcma translucent powder and then this isn't the only powder that i use i do go in with a foundation powder to wipe away the translucent powder so you'll see me do that in a few seconds um but that is a crucial step of mine so that I don't get any flashback um, so just using two powders um, helps eliminate the flashback just so you know hashtag you're welcome 
And then because this is a foundation powder, so I just went in with my second powder, which was the uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation powder. And because this is a foundation, you will see that I am bringing it down to my neck because you still want to uh, make sure that your foundation does blend to your neck. Do not forget the neck, ladies and gents, because I'll be seeing some of y'all and y'all be looking hella rough. And I'm like, sweetie, why didn't you blend it a little bit more? Like... Clearly, you were Russian. But yeah, so I'm taking my foundation and I am just placing that over top of the translucent powder. And again, with the foundation, it does give me more. Like with the foundation powder, it does give me more coverage. Um, So, you know, for me, the more the merrier. And yeah, if you guys can hear Aiden in the background, I apologize. But this is like the 10th time that I recorded this voiceover and I do not feel like doing it again. But here I'm taking my Makeup Revolution bronzer. This is my fucking favorite bronzer, guys. Like, you can't go overboard with this. It don't matter how hard I go with this bronzer. Like, it just looks so natural and it just looks like sun kiss. Like, it's just so good. But anyways, I take a slanted, like, brush. Slanted brush. And the way that I apply my bronzer, I put the brush face up. And then I apply the bronzer that way. With whatever's left over, I go ahead and place it on my forehead. Because I don't like my forehead to look like too bronzy. Like, I just like it to look natural. I love my foundations to look, like, my foundation application to look as natural as possible. Um, although, obviously, wearing makeup, you don't, you're not in your natural state. But I just like to look as natural as possible when I'm wearing foundation. It doesn't matter how many products I apply. I still want to look, like, natural. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so there I'm just blending, blending and blending. And then with whatever's left over, I just contour my nose. You guys probably see me do this a lot, but I just squish that same brush. <laughs> I squeeze it together and then contour my nose. And then that's just with whatever's left over on the products. Like, I mean, whatever products left over on the brush, because I don't really contour like that. I just, just with whatever's left over, I just apply it there so that everything could look you know like put together and cohesive and it just looks like it matches um so yeah that's what I do now I'm going in with my blush I normally don't wear blush to be honest but for the sake of this video I was like let me apply brush and um, blush and be extra but I'm using the same brush that I use with the contour and oh, I'm sorry with my bronzer um I'm applying that and the way that I apply my blush I just oh, I'm fucking getting tongue twisted over here but the way I apply my blush is just smirk a little bit and apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then blend it towards my bronzer as you can see that I'm doing now and just making sure that everything matches together and again you don't see me brushing I'm just pouncing like I just pounce the brush back and forth like up and down basically wet highlighter I'm using makeup revolution this is just what I normally when I wear highlighters with whatever is the first one that catches my eye I don't really I love wearing different highlighters this one was fucking bomb it was fucking glistening do y'all see that fun fact I record all my videos at like one or two in the morning while Aiden's asleep and then I do my voiceovers when he's asleep or whenever I have time. Right there, I'm just using my powder brush that I applied the um, foundation, that Maybelline Fit Me foundation powder. I'm just going over it with that brush um, just because I felt like the highlight was a little bit too much. Now I'm just going to set my foundation, like just well set everything. And of course, I'm using Morphe. This is the mattifying setting spray. And I think it's better than that, the original one, to be honest. And yeah, we're all done. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope that you do learn something from this video. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely share this video and give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, until next time. Bye, guys.